For WKNO News in Memphis, I'm Christopher Blank. Tennessee adults who help minors receive an abortion or gender-affirming care without a parent's sign-off could face criminal charges. Governor Bill Lee quietly signed the pair of bills into law last week without comment. WPLN's health reporter Catherine Sweeney has more. These new laws focus on adults who help kids other than their own obtain these forms of reproductive care. Critics say the bills are too vague. It's unclear what level of help would be criminal. It could even crack down on just talking about abortion and gender-affirming care, like saying where the nearest clinic is. And that could violate free speech protections. A similar law in Idaho is under review in federal court. The judge put a temporary pause on the law and agreed there are First Amendment concerns. Those convicted of breaking Tennessee's new laws could face nearly a year in prison. However, they won't apply to ambulance drivers, emergency medical services personnel, and other transportation workers. Phase one of the $220 million Simmons Bank Liberty Stadium renovation project is officially underway. It includes renovation of the second level of suites on the stadium's east side. That area will house the stadium's press box and game day operations. The second phase, to begin later, will include the bulk of the work, including a party deck in any area that now includes sideline seating. Initial stadium renovation plans were announced in May 2022. A new report from the Greater Memphis Chamber says Memphis jumped from 10th to 1st in job growth for highly skilled workers in research-based industries among nine peer cities. Sophia Surratt of the Daily Memphian says the report showed a nearly 16 percent job growth rate from 2019 to 2021 for highly skilled workers in advanced industries or sectors of the economy primarily involved in technology, innovation, research, and development. The report was done by the Chamber's Economic Research and Analysis arm, the Greater Memphis Economic Research Group, and its measurement tool, the People Powered Prosperity Dashboard, to show how Memphis economic health compares to other peer cities. The report uses data from 2019 to 2021 to compare Memphis to peer cities using 31 indicators in three categories, economic foundation and stability, economic enablers for growth, and economic outcomes. For The Daily Memphian, I'm Sophia Surratt. This is 91.1. More news at WKNOFM.org and on the WKNO app.